number jack. Oh. So, you just saw this video uh, of me using this saw in, the, in its current configuration. It's got a 24 inch bar, um, 325 semi chisel chain, Oregon. Um, let's see. It is, oh, for, to get a 325, 24 inch bar for Husqvarna, you need 94 drive links. You're welcome, by the way. All right, so what I'm doing now is, uh, is I am going to remove the muffler. What that muffler is, is it is a stock muffler. I'll take some pictures and add them in somewhere and stuff. But it is a stock muffler that I have modified. Took out all the guts and I put a bigger pipe coming off the side right over here. Anyways, and I'm going to do a comparison between that modified muffler and the muffler that I made. This here. It's awesome. All this stuff is. So, um, we're going to do the test. Which one is actually giving this saw more power? A lot of people like to smirk and snicker about the pipes that are like this, right? They think the only pipes that give any uh, chainsaw any real power is a big, you know, dirt bike style um, tuned chamber pipe, I guess you could say. And maybe they're right. I'm not saying that they're wrong. I'm just saying I want to find out for myself, sees. And, uh, so we're going to do it. So a lot of people, now this is a personal gripe that I have. A lot of people will do one of these tests and they use, I don't know, eight inch oak, 12 inch pine. You can't tell nothing from that crap. Your saw makes it through there so easily anyways. Well, as you've already seen, I have a big hunk in red oak log, and my 24 inch bar will barely get all the way through it. So I'm guessing it's probably a solid 20 inches, you know, cause I know a 24 inch bar is never actually 24 inches, but it's probably 20, 21, maybe 22 inches. Maybe I doubt it, but you know, whatever you get the point, blah, 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 I'm talking a lot of shit. So we, are going to take this muffler off. It's actually uh, warm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's just use this. So a little more about the saw. I expect that everybody is a subscriber and knows everything already, but you're not. I know, not all of you. And so this saw is not just a simple 55 rancher. This saw has a highway of 46 millimeter cylinder on it. It might be a 45, I could be wrong, but I think it's 46 and it's a quad port design. Um, and I poured it and polished it pretty mildly myself. Oh, and it's got a pop top piston. So it runs pretty good. But to put that into perspective, cause you know, what does that mean? It runs pretty good. Yeah. A lot of people make some claims and of different things, you know, and stuff. I'm not one of those guys. I like to be realistic. <clears throat> I have a John's Red 20, 2152 that I turned into a 2153, which makes it a 346 XP saw. I have not ported and polished it. Um, all I did was put a new piston cylinder on there, 346 XP, boom, done. And now that saw compared to this saw, the 346 XP beats it um, handily. Not horrible, but yeah, it, it beats it. In a 14 second cut, this thing will take 16 seconds. Whereas the, uh, the 346 will take 14. 
So now you have some comparison. This thing's fun, I like it, but it's no real hot rod. Um, so what I did with this pipe that you guys are about to see is we're coming straight out. Come on, man. This is annoying. There we go. There is theory behind it. You come straight out and then you hit a wall. That wall reflects sound, sound waves back and keeps uh, the fresh charge from flowing out. So it's not perfect, of course, you know, but there was a little bit of method to my madness. And, um, and that's why I get a little bit defensive from the guys who think that something like this doesn't work at all. Um, I mean, maybe it doesn't. We're about to see. Damn it, 24 inch bar through 20 inches of red oak. Yeah, we're gonna figure this the fuck out. Do these things actually make a difference or is it all horse shit? Because what we have here is a typical plain old regular modded muffler. And here we have this horny pipe. <laughs> and uh, I like it a lot. It sounds great. I think that it does make a difference. Does it make a world of difference? No, I'm not a fool. Come on now. But it does help. So um, what I did when making this was I uh, made it three millimeters longer than the stock muffler. The stock muffler, the wall, I measured it out, right, from the back of the cylinder, or the front of the cylinder to the back of this pipe, whatever. I measured it out and I added three more millimeters. And that became the back wall of this. I also flattened, I am actually hammered this down and flattened it so that it would really try and send those sound waves straight back to the piston to hold that fresh charge in. All right, now that's the back pressure that people are talking about. They don't know what they even mean whenever they say it. I mean, some do, of course, of course. I don't want to be a douche, but some people know what they're saying, but mostly they don't. They go, oh, it's got to have back pressure. And they have absolutely zero reason why. Well, it's not exactly back pressure that you're looking for. You're looking for those sound waves to bounce back to the piston. And if you're wondering, how the hell does this guy all know this? He's called the novice lumberjack. I did a lot of motocross racing when I was younger. So I studied it up on two-stroke theory quite a bit. So it's not perfect. It's not a... Um, a nice, it's not a nice uh, expansion chamber design for sure, but I do think that it will make a little bit of difference. Oh, by the way, by adding, uh, adding millimeters, three millimeters to the length of the exhaust, what I have effectively done is, um, I have increased the time that it takes for the sound waves to flow to the end of the pipe and then bounce back, which means this is more of a torque type of setup uh, pipe, so which will be good on the uh, the 24 inch bar. I got to tighten those up, put it all back together, we're ready to go. If you can find or if you, if you think you know of a better test to see whether or not one of these pipe, uh, these uh, pipe exhausts work, well then by all means I would love to see it. But this is a 53 cc saw pulling a 24 inch bar through about 20, 21 inches of red oak. So we're going to truly see how much of a difference one of these pipes actually makes. All right, so we're back. This pipe sounds absolutely wicked. Uh, I might have to do a little bit of tuning before we get uh, two good cuts. Uh, but you know, there you have it.
or the complete new like pipe exhaust so uh we'll have to check it out on the computers Top of the morning to you lads and lasses. 
it's the next day and it's a wee bit brisk not really i just decided to put on this because i didn't want my nipples to show <laughs> anyway so what's the verdict uh the verdict is uh by my calculations so with the custom pipe 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 muffler um we were able to make it through the cut in two seconds two seconds and uh, 10 frames faster the frames thing is a video reference that's how i time all this stuff uh i shoot in 30 frames per second so does nearly everyone that's shooting digital media um so i can only count seconds and then uh you know the frames so anyways whatever So that's not a lot. That's barely any difference. So if you don't want to have um, the extra noise of this, then just do a muffler mod. Just do a regular plain old muffler mod. Boom, get that right. And uh, you know, it is possible that this one, if I put another uh, tube off to the side right there, it, it would perform as good as this. But what we set out to, to, to figure out is whether or not this produces more power than this. And the answer is yes, it fucking does. So don't give me no more shit about it. Not that anybody's even giving me any shit about it. I just read stuff all the time and you know, I, I just don't like it whenever there's a snide remark and stuff, you know, somebody, somebody works hard to do this. And it, it happened of course online. It's always a bunch of assholes online. Uh, they think they can say stuff, you know, and somebody had made one of these. And then in the comments, you know, somebody is rolling their eyes at it and going, oh, those things don't make power. Well, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Are they an expansion chamber, a tuned pipe expansion chamber that has been designed and made on with the computer technology and these calculations no it ain't that no but let people have fun let people have fun and make a cool pipe it sounds wicked sounds wicked and so by my calculations i broke it all down into seconds uh or i'm sorry the seconds into frames i told you i get 30 frames per second so the average cut was like 41 seconds and um so that's 1230 some frames or something like that i can't remember off the top of my head but i do remember that this yielded 0.56 percent increase from this so it's not much but as you saw in an average of a 40 second cut 41 seconds something like that um it did beat it so if you're looking for a fast way to, uh, uh, you know, if you're looking for a faster pipe, this is faster than that. So in race applications, it would matter. But how many of us are racing? <laughs> you know, um, and even still, if you're going that far and you're allowed to put a pipe like this on, you're probably going to want an expansion chamber. It's just point proven these do make a little bit more power and now the big thing to look at is is i just guessed at that um there are calculations i want to get them so bad there's a book i wrote it down it's called the design and simulation of two strokes by g p blair and i want that book so bad but shit man it's like 160 dollars but it's got the actual calculations of uh, what you would do to measure this out. You um, figure out the actual area of the exhaust opening, the length of the exhaust opening, you know, the distance to the piston and everything, uh, and your target RPM. That, I don't know. I, I downloaded an app, but it it was free so i downloaded it but it's just the basic calculations and not really the theory behind it um i, I want to learn more about it stuff is really cool but um 
one thing's for sure, the kind of stuff that uh, Iron Horse uh, is making and putting on buck and saws and the Tin Man has made a couple and everything, those right there, I think, personally, uh, mostly don't have any theory to them at all or any sound theory. All it is is just about flow and getting it out of there. Now, I could be wrong, and I don't, I don't want to step on anybody's toes here. You know, we're all trying to do this, and some of us try hard, you know? But the point is, is it's got to hit that wall. It has to hit a wall in order for the sound waves to go back. So everybody thinks that it's actual gas pressure that you're wanting to build up for your back pressure. But, I mean, that can exist and can take the place of the sound waves but what you're aiming for is actually the sound waves and so the, the that bark box i think uh, just it's called west coast muscle saws that that make those those are cool and i think those are based off of the same principles that i'm talking about they're wanting the sound waves to bounce back towards the piston and keep that fresh charge from flowing out the exhaust because see that's what happens if you have too much flow without any kind of stoppage that fresh charge coming in from the carburetor side is going to just flow out the exhaust so you don't want to have too much flow you have to have something to stop it and keep it from going back but you have to time it perfectly right so the shorter the pipe is the shorter the distance that the sound wave has to travel before it gets back. Which means the faster that the piston is traveling, ooh, the faster the piston is traveling, cause it's gonna go bing, bing, right? So that means higher RPMs. If it goes bing, bing, like that, that's lower RPM, <laughs> slow stroking it. <laughs> so anyways, I hope that this isn't too long-winded for y'all. I could talk for days and days about stuff like that. I do have a good bit of knowledge about it, but I've not ever really put it into practice. But with just a guess, I was able to get a better performing muffler, exhaust pipe, right? Now I need to work on shortening it up so that I can raise those RPMs and see how it works. I mean, this is all just test and tune stuff. This is, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm guessing as I go. And that's the way everything was done. I mean, geez, look at all the stupid stuff that they did back in the day with NASCAR. And I mean, it, nobody was telling those guys what to do. They were going, huh? I, I, I guess we'll do this, you know? And some of it worked, some of it didn't. But two strokes are fascinating to me because they all just work off of flow and you are increasing sometimes decreasing uh flow in order to get everything right and timed perfectly with the porting and polishing um oh sensei sensei this is for you. You've got the um, uh, the 372 XP that has low compression, right? You're only at 140 PSI. Uh, it could be because of your timing. Maybe somebody has went in there and did a poor job of porting and they raised the roof of your intake, right? If they did that, then your piston has less time to actually make compression and therefore, it, you would have a lower compression. You're not understanding why you have lower compression. That could be it. My guess is though, your compression uh, release is probably leaking. And that's why even with a brand new piston and ring in there, you're still only reading 140 PSI. Um, but anyways, it's hard to troubleshoot something from afar. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's enough on this video. If you've hung in there and you think this is good information, I ain't asking you to do anything that, that like you disagree with, but share this video.
I need to get my subscribers up, obviously. Like it, that makes a difference if you just hit the like button. It truly makes a difference in YouTube's algorithms. Uh, subscribe, that's the obvious one. And if you share it, then other people will get to see it. And it means so much more. I feel, I feel like a dork whenever I share my own videos. And I'm constantly writing this ice and going, I don't know if I should share this. Mm. But if it's good information that you like and you want to do a brother a solid, <laughs> then share it. Share it on your Facebook um, uh, groups and stuff like that. Or just simply hit share, whatever. Or do nothing. And you're welcome for the free entertainment. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Oh, am I going to run it? Yeah. I like the way it sounds. It's cool. It's, I mean, it, it's cool to be able to pull out a saw and fire it up and the people around you go, whoa, whoa, that thing sounds badass. Yes, it does. It is cool. And it does provide 0.56% of an increase in power. 